Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to calculate square footage uh, and to set up rooms in your floor plans. I'm going to go ahead and start a new file here. File, new, architectural template as always. Just going to create a basic uh, quote unquote building. Um, that looks good. Put a couple rooms here and there. All right, so basically I have three spaces, one, two, and three. Now, to calculate square footage, you don't have to start, you know, dimensioning things and then subtracting the thickness of the wall and multiplying by that number. Uh, Revit is really nice and really convenient in calculating square footage for you. Um, so what you do is you define it as a room, and then within the properties of that room, you're going to see... Uh, all the information that you need to know. So make sure you're under the architecture tab and then on the upper right over here, I guess you could call it the upper right, you're going to see the room button. Go ahead and select that and then just drag it over your room area. You'll see that as a room and a tag number as well. Bring it over there and then one more over here. So now when you select room one, you'll see that it's got an area of 1,357.78 square feet. It's got a perimeter of 150 square or 150 feet roughly, um, and so forth. You you can change the name of the room. Uh, doghouse. Hit apply, and there it is. You can also change the number for your scheduling needs. Hit enter or apply. Sorry, and that'll also do it. Um, what gets funky is when you start moving walls after you've established your room. Like say I wanted to make it a half wall. All of a sudden it gives you this warning here. Uh, basically just saying that the borders of the room have now been changed uh, to a point where it's merging with another room. So you can choose whether you want to delete the rooms, delete one room, etc. Uh, if you delete one room, Revit automatically extends the other room uh, in order to, you know, make sure that everything is counted. Now room 2 has a total of 3,411 square feet. Um, so really basic stuff, uh, very easy. Um, you can also delete room tags so that they don't actually show up in plan, but when you get near the crosshairs or near one of the lines, all you have to do is click and it'll show up on your properties just like it did before. Uh, again, very easy, very simple. Uh, Revit makes our life easier in that term or in that regard. Um, so I guess we'll just be be grateful here. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the area below. If not, have a great day.